everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Jose Wright, also known as Jack Reaper. And um, I've actually been sitting on this video here for the past two or three weeks trying to figure out what, what would be the best time to get this um, voiceover recorded because um, as a lot of you guys know, I have kids and they make a lot of noise. So anyways, here's my last attempt here or first attempt, <laughs> hopefully the last. Anyways, this video is about practicing, okay? So I'm always telling you guys, when you guys see me drawing, you're always so amazed at um, how easily I can create these drawings and make them look really nice. So that does not come naturally to me. So I've always told you guys, it's something I've been doing for a really long time and it's something that takes time to learn. Anyone can do it. It just takes a little patience and practice, okay? So anyways, here is a picture of something that I drew of Winnie the Pooh about 23 years ago, okay? And my older sister still had it lying around and I thought it would be a good way to show you guys that as long as you keep working on something, you can always get better, okay? Here, as you guys can see, I'm starting my sketch here with um, drawing just a quick sketch to get in the proportions and the sizing of all the figures and You'll see here that I don't get it right the first time and I rely on um, some digital aspects here in order to move the picture around and, and shrink characters and stuff like that to get the perfect proportions. Um, but you'll see here that I make also a lot of mistakes. I start over because I don't like what, what I did and that's okay. So again, like sometimes things take time, sometimes they don't, sometimes you'll be faster at some characters, sometimes you'll, you'll take longer, okay, and that's okay. So you gotta remember just to stick with whatever you're doing and always practice. Okay, so here's Rabin, and um, I'm starting to get in the, the final, starting to finalize details here, and you can see I, I don't actually keep the original drawing so it's actually it actually changes you can actually change proportions and things like that and start over uh, until you get it correct until you to get something that you actually like and here I'm moving on now to Eeyore and um, one of the reasons why I did this drawing so long ago was because my sister was a huge fan of um, Winnie the Pooh and it was something we used to watch together uh, as a family when we were all little. Eeyore was my favorite character and still is from, from the show. And here now I'm starting to get some details in um, for Piglet. And then I'll quickly move on to um, to do Eeyore's feet, and then I'll move on to Tigger. Okay, and uh, Tigger here actually turned out to be a little too big for me, so I end up shrinking him a little later on in the video, just to get everything to look more proportionately. And here it goes. Um, and this is something that I'm doing because I already know my proportions and things like that I already learned these things so I, I actually rely on the on the digital program here to to help me shrink that out really quickly instead of uh, starting all over so that's the one of the benefits of going digital which I've ha been having a hard time with <laughs> so here we go and now I'm starting to finalize the sketch here, throwing in the final details and proportions and I'm going to keep adding the, a bit of shading to everything. Um, and I think I shrank Tigger again one more time here before I finish finalizing the other characters and bring in Winnie the Pooh. So here's Winnie the Pooh now, and again I start off with a quick gesture drawing to get in the basic shapes of everything and then I, I switch up the sizing again. And you're always trying to improve, every time you draw something you want to try to improve 
at least one one aspect of the drawing okay and that that for me here was the layout i felt like this made more sense with the character standing behind looking at winnie the pooh as he's thinking about how he's gonna uh take on the task of finding christopher robin which is the movie that this drawing is actually based off of and here you can see I'm trying to finalize the lines here from the sketch and I actually don't like the way these lines look. I'm still trying to get used to the whole digital aspect of, of drawing. So I haven't really found my style on that side when it comes to this. So I, I actually preferred the sketchy line work uh, look that we have going here. So that's how I end up keeping it. And this actually isn't the only drawing that I have from back when I was 10 that I started drawing and I'll throw some of those other images that I have up here. And here's the original image and here's the final image now. So what do you guys think? As you can see, the more you do it, the, the better you get. So always practice, practice, practice. Anyways, guys, before I end, this part is really cool for you guys. So some of you guys might recognize these drawings as they are works of art from you guys that I've received over the past couple of months. There are still more drawings that I have that are not in this video. I still need to find some of those. And when I do, they'll be posted up in another video. So make sure to catch that uh, next week. I'll make sure it makes it to one of the videos as a shout out, okay? And also, if you find me out on campus and you wanna have your work shown off here at the end of one of my videos, go ahead and flag me down without further ado. like this video make sure to hit the like and subscribe button any comments that you have go ahead and post them in the comment section uh, if you want me to do um, one of the other pictures I showed off here that I started when I was 10 and redo it in this way digitally go ahead and also mention that in the comments and I'll go ahead and do that for you guys anyway that's all for today and thanks for watching <laughs>